Well, it's been a pleasant Tuesday across the area. We're looking at clouds and some sun here to finish out our day. We've seen an attempt at a few showers making its way to the Georgia coast here in the last couple of hours, but those have since dissipated. And while there remains a slight chance a shower could pop up this evening, it looks like overall most, if not all areas are going to stay dry. As we expand the view here, we can see more rain off the coast and then extending north into portions of the Carolinas all associated with an upper air disturbance that is near us. But uh, the moisture with it lifting more to the north and that will continue to happen tomorrow. It's going to lift a little further away, at least in terms of the rain. So we should stay dry here. Let's take a closer look at what we expect here as we go through the next three days. Start with tomorrow morning. We'll have our skies ranging from mostly clear to a few clouds along the coast at seven o'clock. Notice there may be a fair amount of rain off the coast, but it's not making its way towards us during the day. May though see some clouds backing further west as the day goes on through 4 p.m. But overall, we should see some sun mixing in with those clouds. Then as we go into Thursday, now it looks like by late in the afternoon through 4 o'clock, there could be a chance for a few showers, mainly along the coastal counties as you see some light green there showing up. Doesn't look like it should be a lot of rain, but there may be that chance on the return by the end of the day on Thursday. And we could see some sort of a chance on Friday too. The model, this model is showing more moisture on Friday, but mostly a little bit to our south. So we'll monitor that in case it nudges a bit further north. But right now on Friday, it looks like we'll still have clouds, some sun, maybe a chance of a shower favoring our southern spots as we head through Friday afternoon. Temperatures today have felt like the first full day of fall, especially to our north. Right now in Charlotte's 57, 61 Myrtle Beach. We've got 73 pleasant degrees here in Savannah. Temperatures in the 70s across most of our area, and it looks like we'll have kind of a repeat of that as we head through tomorrow too. We're also going to continue to see a nice breeze out there. The wind direction out of the north as we start off tomorrow morning, running mostly between 10 and 15 miles per hour, some higher gusts along the immediate coast. As we head through the day, notice that wind direction remains the same. That'll keep reinforcing the pleasant temperatures. And it looks like the wind speed will be running mostly 10 to 15 miles per hour. Again, maybe slightly higher along the immediate coast. So for tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to about 64 degrees with partly cloudy skies. As we head through the afternoon, we'll have an average high of 78 and we'll see clouds and some sun mixing in. Your upcoming tides will include a high tide at Tybee 823. Next high tide in the morning occurring at 848. Meanwhile, heading out on the water, sea is going to be a bit on the rough side, ranging from four to six feet tomorrow. And also we're looking at a higher than usual risk of rip currents, which typically happens when our wind direction out there is out of the northeast. So keep that in mind if you happen to have plans heading out to the beach. Your latest uh, pollen report showing that we have weed pollen moderate and mold remains high. All right, let's look ahead to your weekend forecast. It does look like it's going to warm up some as we get to the weekend. It appears it will be seasonally warm as we head through your Saturday and Sunday. And there may be a couple of showers around at some point. Right now, I think that would favor more into Saturday. But overall, we should have a fair amount of time where we have a mix of sun and clouds and highs around 84 or 85. Here's your entire storm tracker seven day forecasts and a slow warm up through the rest of the week. Low 80s Thursday and Friday. Again, an occasional shower chance in there and looking a little warmer, Kevin and Jennifer, as we go through the weekend and head to the beginning of next week.